After the kill curve and transfection steps, we can continue the selection procedure in two different ways depending on the purpose of the developed cell line. We can either expand the 24 well to a flask, freeze down and start experiments on this pool of resistant cells, or we can select further and attempt to isolate a single resistant cell clone by limited dilution. For selection of a single resistant clone, we will need cells, detached according to standard cell culture procedures, 10% conditioned medium, which contains fresh medium with 10% old medium to reduce cell stress, the selection antibiotic, 96 well plates, 50 milliliter tubes, a pipetter, pipettes, a multi-channel, tips, a gutter, a laminar flow, a microscope, and an incubator. First, we will add 25 milliliters of 10% conditioned selection medium with the concentration of selection antibiotic as determined in the kill curve step to three 50 milliliter tubes. Add the transfected cells to each of the 50 milliliter tubes at concentrations of 1, 5, and 10 cells per milliliter. Prepare six 96 well plates by adding 100 microliters of each of the three transfected cell suspension concentrations to two full 96 well plates. Place the 96 well plates in a 5% CO2 controlled incubator at 37 degrees Celsius. Examine the 96 well plates for wells with single cell colonies under the microscope. Remove and refresh the 96 well plates with selection medium every three to four days. The appearance of single cell colonies may occur after three days to one week, depending on the proliferation rate of the cell line. When the single colony of the 96 well is confluent or clumping or not growing any further, expand the cells first to a 24 well and then to a culture flask with selection medium until you have enough cells for freeze down and experiments. <laughs>